Hey, it's Strady McKee. Uh, I have a little idea here for you around target customers. So no, that's not a big bloodshot eyeball. I just can't draw very well. So my apologies in advance. But, um, you know, we're, we go through all these different business discussions, be it with clients or with other people. We just did uh, some Q&A, live Q&A and stuff. And, and these things start to come up. And, and really, nobody's talking about this so much at the target customer. But I think... It, what, what, I, what I keep running into is that it ends up being really foundational to some of the other things. So questions about, well, how do I market and get, acquire more new patients? Or um, how do I uh, start this new program? And, and we're thinking of adding this equipment or this other thing. And really, it, it all comes back to a couple basic things. And some of those components are like your, your purpose, okay, your core purpose, the why. Um, you know, why'd you become a therapist in the first place? Why were you crazy enough to start a practice? Why are you in business for yourself? You know, what, what, are, what are those kind of foundational components? Then we've got our values and our goals and what we want to do. But one of the ones that's very often overlooked is this concept of target customer, target patient. And um, even when, like there's some exercises out there you can download online and go through, but very often what they end up doing is going through this kind of demographic model of, you know, 40 year old, female, uh, you know, or 35 to 45 year old female who makes over $100,000 and drives a, a Volvo and da, da 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 It's like, yeah, okay, but what I'm interested in, particularly in this business, but really in any business, so it doesn't matter if you have a cafe, it doesn't matter if you're a law firm, it doesn't matter, you know, what your business is, who, who among those, and yeah, you can ask those questions and identify those people kind of demographically and, and ask questions also like, you know, who's my most profitable customer? Who's my most influential customer? Because those people are, are great, they're valuable, right? They pay the bills, they tell other people, all that stuff's important. But what's, what just makes me excited is who, who, when you, like if you're a therapist and you look at your schedule in the morning, who do you get jazzed about working with? We all know that there's sometimes there are people or meetings that you have later in the day or what have you that you're like, yeah, I'm dreading that. I don't really want to do that. But if you're getting out of bed in the morning, looking at your schedule and you've got these, you know, first three people on your schedule are like, yeah, I was so love working with that. And by the way, it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter if you, it's runners or if it's triathletes or if it's kids with CP or if it's older adults with balance issues or whatever. It's whatever it is for you, okay? There's gotta be a business case to make for all that and we can sort that out. But your target customer is really that person that you get excited about working with, you get excited about helping, who's fun to, to engage and you're just, you just feel good about what you've been able to do and the value you've been able to provide and uh, you know everything kind of comes together. So this concept, and uh, by the way, I got this book. Uh, this is Stephen Lynch's book. He's the CEO of results.com now. Um, Stephen says around this concept of the, uh, the target customer, that you delight the few to attract the many. And he tells this cool story about it, uh, going to the range in LA with his wife when they came from New Zealand and uh, aiming, you know, she was aiming at the target and the, the instructor in range instructor came down and said, you know, what are you doing? She's like, well, I'm aiming at the target. It's like, look, you got to aim for the bullseye to have any hope of hitting the target. If you just aim for the target, you'll likely miss the whole thing. So that was really a take home message. And this is something that's really important too, because once you've identified that person who, yeah, they're profitable. Yeah. They'll help you pay the bills or, but they're the people that you really love getting out of bed for in the morning that you really want to go to work for that you're excited to do things with, to really help them. Um, that person is that person in the, in the middle. That's your target. That's the person that you're then going to think about all your messaging, okay? You're gonna think about your program. So when somebody comes and says, hey, I wanna do this new initiative and all, does it serve that target customer? Will it make their experience better? And you can think about that as well. Go through all the touch points, all the pieces and parts of your business from the uh, initial like referral uh, to visiting your website, to looking at uh, the paperwork and you know when they come in, to the billing afterward, all those other things, even outside or especially outside in some cases, the clinical care and the clinical experience, what's it like for them from their perspective? So for just one example, if you like working with older adults and you're designing your, your, uh, your practice around that, is the font on your business card big enough? Okay, are the, are the financial documents and the things, the paperwork they have to fill out, is it straightforward and clear? So, you know, start thinking about those things from their perspective and anything you can do to enhance their experience, 
this person's experience is going to appeal to all the people in the concentric circles. Okay, and, and, and yeah, the farther and farther out you go, maybe the less appealing, but you're going to get this person's experience dialed in, and then each one successive around is going to be attracted as well. So you delight the few, you really design everything around this person that you understand, that you want to serve, that you, that you just, it's what gets you going in the morning, to, uh, but if you design around them, you're going to attract a lot of other people. So. Yeah, let's say I want to work with triathletes and that's really who gets me going and I'm, I'm just I'm so excited I've got three triathletes on my schedule today. Okay, that's great. You design everything around that. You're still going to pick up runners. You're still going to pick up swimmers. You're still going to get weekend warriors. You're still going to get other people that are excited about coming to your practice um, that are very interested in what you have to offer that are in these kind of concentric circles around it. They're, maybe they're not triathletes, but they can relate to it. They get it. They appreciate what you do. You can still help and serve them. So think about those things as you as you start to do it. And, you know, too often, just, just in case this is nagging in your head, um, I hear, well, if I do that, I'm excluding other people. This is not an exclusionary idea or practice. This is about dialing it in and making it really awesome for that group and thinking about them as you design your written communications, your experience, your clinic, that is, you know, literally the design of, of the facility and the equipment and the things that you use. We can't be all things to all people all the time. It, 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 it ends up being way too diluted. It's not very compelling. What we want to do is be compelling and meaningfully and dramatically different for this person. We want to provide them something that's really awesome. If we do that, we're going to appeal to a lot more people. And the irony is by focusing in narrowly on this individual, you're going to end up actually seeing more people, more diversity, more a wider audience and grow your practice. So good luck with that. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I'm over at sturdymckee.com just in case you're seeing this video somewhere else. Thanks.